a thing in this year state has been with accident prevention and control. So they want to learn, say, let us know the key safety agencies in the West Africa region from Nigeria. What have been our challenges and how we have near there to solve these challenges? So please, on this note, I'm kindly challenging and pleading. If government is not subventing us, then let our 10% be retained. I thank you very much. And now please come to proceed with the rest uh, summary of the budget. So straight away we'll go to the revenue line item. Commission from number plates. SLRSA, our work is diverse. Of course, you know we deal with uh, licenses of vehicles, which also entails the licenses of drivers. And we have subsets of all these things. So we have what we call special plates, what we call personalized. For those of you who want to have of the jobs. Oh, let me go with you. Yeah. Okay. Um, I have jumped earlier based on your feeling. Okay, so uh, let, revenue I, uh, revenue like or revenue stream or revenue like items are first. We have new registration, <coughs> we have renewals, we have new driver's license, renewal of driver's license, we have international permits. For those of you who want to travel to what we call international driver's license, which will be the last one here. Traffic fines. We don't normally uh, rely on traffic fines because we are just compliance. We don't really get much on traffic fines. Towing and clamping, all of us here know what that entails. If I'm to clamp anybody here, any, any of us here in this room, and to clamp your vehicle now, as you as most of you are taking my numbers and introduce yourself. Hey, Mr. Sal, I don't want to go on a shaka street street, I won't leave another budget here. I was constrained to, <laughs> to succumb to your need. So, much is only coming from that access. <laughs> Circulation permit, that one we get from Gambia, it's also a big challenge, especially when the COVID came in and with the new intervention in Guinea. So we're already getting much revenue right now for the past two or three months because uh, because of the border sanction. Temporary vehicle registration, this one it, uh, happens at the water key for every vehicle coming to the country. Of course, we have to pay what we call a temporary vehicle registration tag that will allow you to apply the rules for at least two weeks. Why you put your papers together to license your vehicle? The reason why we do that is because some people bring their vehicles to sell, and others bring their vehicles to just use for some time and then sell. So we give that leverage. And then we have miscellaneous. Miscellaneous, we have what we call application fee log, renewal of maintenance garage, renewal of special training license, new registration fee, driving school. All of these driving schools that you see, all of these garages that you see, they register with us. But because the revenue is not uh, forthcoming, so we cannot really align any budgetary uh, uh, renovation from it. So, as a result, we leave it hanging. Key deliverables for 2020. <coughs> we, to the glory of God, we were able to successfully employ 150 World Safety Corps, and uh, that one actually bloated our payroll, but however, we were able to manage it. Uh, Vehicle testing equipment in all the regions. For those of you who apply the routes of uh, Waterloo to Lashaka, you're seeing some work done by what we uh, might see. They're trying to construct what we call the first ever modernized electronic vehicle, uh, vehicle examination center, MOT. For those of you who travel overseas or other countries like Ghana or Nigeria, that one's currently entailed and uh, we want some percentage, I think about uh, 70, 70, between 70 to 80 percent of that right now. Uh, the quality of license tickets. If you see the current license tickets that we are using, they are just being sticked on the vehicle. There are no correlation between the license tickets and our system. And when we took over in 2020, what we prioritized basically was to ensure that we do uh, what we call automated integrated system. So even the license that was affixed on the wheel screen will have an antenna that speaks to our server. So what we intend to do basically is not to populate the routes of later with our traffic call, but we tend to put devices, for example, at St. John. If you apply to St. John and we stream the device, we have to notify our server to say ALO555 at uh, registration has elapsed. Now our call will have the thing on their mobile app to, to, to pull you up, just to uh, prevent or avoid the, those calls for embarrassment, people rushing to work, rushing on their businesses. And people just stop not breaking people uh, based on uh, no just cause. And then we have, of course, both sensitization, all community radios within the country and of all the districts of Freetown. We have, we have what we call community radio representation. And we often uh, uh, 
Ik ben de minister van de Kalijt en Fresh en Zelf. We maken in stijl dat ze naar de tijd zijn. Wat jij ziet, wat ik We continue this gentlemen. So, we have what we call interconnectivity. And it's interesting to know, to go back, the SNR and SNR are the automated system. In the sense, if you do licenses in Balamoya, Ujem, Bo, they will wait, gather all these licenses to print out, and then where they will manually input them before they are being printed. So with the help of the ICT platform that we call interconnectivity, which is now successfully being implemented, the LAN network, in all our stations that ensures that actually when you pay the money in a UTV bank at uh, Cambria, we have a system to the what we call the API system, which the finance uh, department will verify the payment before the licenses are issued. We will not share this particular system enabling us to ensure that licenses are printed in all our 18 uh, operational areas. We have the Road Traffic Act of 2007 and 2011 regulations. The reason why we brought this up basically, we have several issues of late, and lawyers also have us back and forth. So we try to do a modification of the road uh, the citations in the Road Traffic Act in, in 2011, especially for one example, failing to produce your license on demand, it's a crime, it's in the citation. But in the act, it says within 24 hours. So we have a back and forth between that. So we decided to really look and see how best we can ameliorate this thing. So we mm -hmm. tried to do a review. Now the key, the delivery will spread and keep the road city cup and cheap. Lack of vehicle testing and equipment is complex, is awarded, and 70 to 80%. One of the stations that uh, my city is ongoing. The quality of license ticket is also achieved because it's now self destructive. For example, the TVR, you can see. Because we are, who, who came into the country from January we still have the TVR even though the license had to take it over a year because it's self distributed. In other words, you don't even pull out. You attempt to pull out in point point. And so then they also get for the boost to economy or revenue, sorry. Improve on what is the initial 80% achieve, you cannot start. You definitely achieve that. You can't stand the low thing, so we need a collaboration of all of the involved. It's a connectivity is achieved, no traffic acts is drafted and forwarded to the Ministry of Transport and Aviation for it to be tabled in Canada and the subsequent environment for it to be ratified in the common law. For 2021, we must safety committee in the four regions, yes, this was set up in do although it's uh, basically on a snail pace uh, in terms of operation, but it was set up. Setting up a robust ST platform is a connectivity I mentioned. And uh, for those of you who might who might have the interest to look at the, the new vehicle on the plate, I guess you can see even the printing now is different. And we have what we call a QR code on it. The reason why some people used to bring vehicles in this country will just take the old number plates and affix or go to an SLI say when there was no system. Hey, go to number plates, don't buy your number plates for me. You know, we pay, we pay. You know, for all of those payments, that have to go to a proper system. And even if your number plate is for you want to you have to get us a police clearance, you also bring your physical link to us and spend the that we bring the new number plate. So all that help for boost your revenue. Because some of this must more money. So when we added the QR code, the, the our our colleagues, our friends, our brothers are disabled at uh, uh, Mark 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 Camp or somewhere in the east. Yeah, yes. They are very good in fabricating this, same as what we do as SLIC. But since we did the QR code, and they themselves came very important and said, we were not too great on the so we are moving for you now. So we try to really achieve <laughs> that. In partnership with uh, Mesa's APF, and I also want to state this that in the whole country, the SLIC can proudly state now that we have the first and ever best ultra road and barrack system. Compared with the US standards, and we have right folks to do to repair our vehicles. We want to limit that first to the government vehicles. The reason being that, Madam Chair and uh, Director, is that uh, if we found it erroneous when it took over, that uh, we are the ones that uh, examine government vehicles before they proceed for repairs and maintenance. And after repairs and maintenance, they come again, we are the ones that validate that indeed these vehicles have been repaired and proceed for payments. So we had a lot of confusion. Value for money, thinking about the future so that we can save some money from government to expenditure in some of the areas. What we did, we created a system. 
Second, Sorry. we also try to say, no, we have now our own garage. And prior now, the essence of the road transport that was established in 1996, and even before colonial uh, period, during the colonial period, we had government people used to go take fare. The edifice there was meant to repair or maintenance government vehicles. So we try to revamp that. And how would this help? We used to have students from private college in Timagamala and even City and Dale. So come on to what we call OJT or maybe technical uh, internship or whatever. All those were stopped. So really from the fight, we are quickly to put, put out the advertisement and we had a Belgian company who is satisfied to use experience dealers and they are now in time of operating. So what we do to calibrate it for us is still in the opposite, let's have a school. We cannot do the ground without the school. So as a way can have with the land with the, the vision of the SLS, which is the middle level manpower. So we have what we call the uh, SLIS APF garage maintenance school, which will be launching uh, against the 16th this October. So that one is the equation now. Revenue generation in South Florida is will continue 10.2 billion euros. At the inception of our, the launch of our strategic plan this year in 20, last, was it last year of this year? Strategic plan? Last year. Towards the end of last year, we launched our strategic plan, or we were doing the strategic plan. We were, in the stakeholder consultations we had, the first question somebody at the Ministry of Finance asked us. What do not use the existing state that you have to contribute to the economy uh, development of the nation? So what do you need to contribute to the offers of the country? So we looked at our revenue projections based from the year which will provide 2019 to 20 as to 2024 at the end of the year. We said we will contribute 10.2 billion euros to the uh, coffers. And so just for this year, we contributed over 4 billion euros. More let's proceed. So, um, yeah, we're going to ask you. Come to the let's go. Okay, expenditure right, line items, of course, our rules here will tell us we have the current and personal recurrence, has to comprise of cost and training expenses of the of staff, and then personal due to staff, basic pay, transfer allowance, medical allowance, rental allowance, legal allowance. Uh, we can pass the same here with our record and okay. check our books. You know, we need to the bank of Sri Lanka. We have since 2020, May when we took over. We start to be the leading agency that will pay salaries on or before the 27th of every month. The reason being that we prioritize human capital development and we believe that uh, to ensure the service delivery that empty back and definitely not start. <laughs> strategy plan. We have key developments at the strategy plan. We have road safety management, revenue generation, partnership, uh, what we call a CB, I don't know what international communication, and then the others. On that improved road safety management, we have road safety education, ultra-road and garage, which we've achieved, increased number of road signs. So this is the constitution of an chair where I actually feel it from the start. All our countries, or across West Africa, all the world, we are always seen as people responsible for road signs and markings. Even in Sierra Leone, it seems to have been like a test. We have always bashed for road signs and markings. Ironically, however, the forms that are being retained are meant for this, but they're not implemented. So this is why we are putting that we retain our forms, and then so we cannot be charged for nothing. So monitor. And then we have improved safety, lack of government funding. Of course, I mentioned that Italia, I believe my elder brother here, since we would call that every year we've been saying this, we are not subvented, so that's why we are doing this. We don't have money to give or don't take us from, don't take anything from us. So, increase revenue generation, generation, supervision and tracking monitoring plans of sale. And we have we've extended our branches and come this end of October, we shall be having a branch now at the local town, Mine and Tiwan, and come December, January for the first. Let's go to the next one. Okay, install and integrate the go back. Install and integrate automated system. I already spoke on that, and that is why on the 15th of October this year, we shall be launching. The first ever electronic license in Sierra Leone. This is the inception of the Unilever driver license, and this is now the golden trend that we are moving. Where you just have the airport, you guys taking a, I don't know, passport, picture of passports, and immigration. 
So in that instance here, your license number will not translate to your new number. So that is why before we issue our licenses to you, it is a convent for you to get a new number. Because our data 